Here's my top five underrated irons list for 2021 for around 300 pounds. And I'm gonna give you the reasons exactly why you won't need to spend any more than that. Guys, how you doing? Welcome back to a brand new video. It's Simon down here at Sanford Springs Golf Club and we're gonna talk irons. I get this question a lot. And for me to you, through a camera lens, without ever seeing your golf swing, it's incredibly difficult to recommend. Uh, iron that would be great for you. There's so many levels, there's so many people that are going to be getting better, worse, need distance, don't need distance. Actually, do they hit a fade or is it a push slice? All these kind of factors makes it incredibly difficult to recommend a great iron for someone, whether it's a message on Instagram, Facebook, even in my WhatsApp, whatever it might be. However, today I want to give you the best bang for your buck. Some clubs that you might want to look at if you want to invest them well, i.e. you're not gonna lose any money if you don't get on with them, but also you're gonna get just the same amount of technology. Modernization, great shafts, great grips, great heads without all the hype. And that's exactly what is coming up in this list. Now, typically with these lists, I give you like an overrated version. I'll talk about this club and that club and how overpriced it is and everything else in between, but I'm not gonna do that today. I'll talk about what I do think is overrated when it comes to irons, because if I said, for example, the TaylorMade M1 irons, M3 irons, M5 irons, or the counterparts, M2, M4, M6, whatever it is, they're all exactly the same. But if you picked up that set of irons with the perfect shaft and those lost work for you, and you hit those the best you ever have done in your life, who am I to say that they're overrated for the price? What I'm trying to say is that I think you can still get that same kind of experience if you've never upgraded your irons. Say you've got a package set, or say you've only spent 100 pounds on some old ping zings, whatever it might be. Here's some other brands that you'll probably get the same feel from, the same effect, the same distance, the same forgiveness, but without having to spend another 150 pounds more on a set or 200 pounds or 30 pounds per stick just because it has tailor-made Callaway, Ping, Mizuno, fill in the blank. So what I'm going to do is break down each of these clubs into their own category, whether it's to resemble a similar club with a lot of hype and money behind it, or a category which I think is going to suit a particular type of golfer. As I say, I won't be 100% accurate with all of these comparisons, but if you don't like it and you don't get on with it, it does mean that you're going to be able to swap it out for the exact same amount of money that you bought it for. So up first, we have the P790, tailor-made iron replacement, the Lynx VT irons. These I've played with, hit, tested. Very underrated, even though I've made two videos on them now, their price still holds at 50% off. You can buy these brand new for 650, 700 pounds, go and get fitted for them, which is still, let's be honest, 400 pounds cheaper than the P790. But if you want to just dabble, try a secondhand set of very sleek looking, forgiving, and powerful irons, the Lynx VT, I really can't look past when it comes to comparing value for money against the P790. And more and more manufacturers are bringing out a version that gives you that kind of blade player improvement iron, just like the P790, but, but they're all a lot more expensive than this version. And I can guarantee you that if you were to get your hands on a set for 299 pounds or 320 pounds for six irons, you won't be disappointed. And there's gonna be plenty of people after you that will probably be willing to get their hands on them as well. So up next, we have the Game Improvement Iron. For those people that potentially look at like the tailor-made M2s, and don't get me wrong, I don't think they're a bad set of irons, but they're still overpriced for what they are. Well, Callaway Rogues or Mizuno Hot Metals, all these particular types of irons. And when, it, when I look at those brands and I look at those Game Improvement Irons, and whether you're 65 years of age and getting older, and that is going to be your last set, then I have nothing wrong with it. But if you're 18 to 35 and you've been playing this game six months and you go and get fitted for brand new game improvement irons, I think that's a mistake as you have no idea how you're going to pre progress in the next three months. That being said, I understand that you want a level of forgiveness that you can go out with your mates or your corporate day or whatever it might be. And for half the price, virtually quarter the price against the other models, I can't look past the Wilson Staff D7 irons. These things have only been out a couple of years, just like all the other ones I'm gonna suggest, by the way. All of these second-hand brands are two years old lost all their retail value, lost 50-60% because many people don't look towards them and you're getting just as much. You're getting great grips, you're getting great shafts, you're getting great heads and the Wilson Staff D7 I think is a great club 
for any player that's just started this game within a year and wants that level of forgiveness that all the big boys say that they can provide and it just means that you don't have to spend a hundred pounds a stick to get it not only that i think with the vt and the d7 these are some of the best looking irons that have come out on the market for a very long time and i do feel that when you come to resell them they're gonna attract many people's eyes They've lost all their retail value. We're at the bottom of the bottom. They're gonna go down 20 pounds a set year on year from here on out. So don't worry if you don't get on with them because there will be people after them after you. So the Lynx VT I would put in the intermediate to beginner category and the D7 is very much in the beginner category. And I'm thinking you guys probably want to know, I've been playing for two years now. Um, uh, I've had my game improvement eyes i want something a bit less forgiving i want something with a bit more control i want something like mizuno but mizuno is so expensive even a 900 919s 921s when we get really current go for a lot of money and because mizuno is a very popular iron brand and many people know that so where do you go if you want a japanese forge feeling club without the price i am of course talking about srixon just doesn't get the same kind of love as Mizuno on the second hand market in this country. It's probably down to the fact not many professionals stock it here or limited supply. Again, same as the Srixen Woods. Srixen Woods just drop off the planet just like Mizuno does. But when it comes to irons, even more so with Srixen, you can pick up a lovely set of or combo set for you guys that want to start experimenting with more blades and muscle backs and not necessarily everything ultra forgiving Srixen can provide that. I'm talking the 565. 65 is the important bit, around 300 pounds, and you can combo it however you like. The 965 is very much the blade, the 765 is the muscle back, 565 is more of the game improvement, and you'll see multitude of sets that can combine that forgiveness as well as control at the bottom end of the bag and you're going to save yourself 200 pounds a set compared to the mizuno equivalent or the year model of mizuno compared to the year model of srixen from what i've seen on ebay and honestly i don't think srixen looks as good as mizuno but this isn't going to be your forever set for the people that i'm recommending this to this is your gap this is your gap to finally getting your club fit in three years time. You play two years, you go play another three years with these lovely Japanese irons for 300 pounds. You're gonna sell them in three years for 200 pounds and then you're gonna get custom fitted and see if it's worthwhile. We'll see if you've improved enough to then get the right lion shaft and length and tip and whatever because you're now down to a sensible level of golf that you'll notice the difference. These are a great alternative in the meanwhile to really cut your teeth and controlling, shaping, or just generally having a better iron play out on the golf course. Up next is my category for you golf perverts. The ones that just want to dabble with something that no other person on the golf course is playing with. It's got great culture, it's got great heritage, and it is silly cheap. I fell off my chair when doing research for this video of what you're actually getting for your money with this golf club the appeal, the aesthetics, and the player that it's suited to. I'm talking about the Ben Hogan Worth White Irons. I'll show you some images. These things are just plain sexual. I don't care if they're forgiving, I don't care if they're controlling, I don't care what they do for you. I do know, however, whoever puts these in his hands will have a very good understanding of the game. This is very much an FU iron set. But at the fraction of the price, it's a bit of a play, it's a bit of a luxury. I'm not saying that they're bad irons, I haven't used them myself, but just the actual sex appeal of these clubs themselves. And if you've got a decent ball striking at the moment, you've got decent distances and yardages on your irons, I think it's just a great set to have to play with and practice with. If you're thinking about mixing up a bit, maybe you've had a set of irons for two, three years now, and you're not quite sure and you don't want to go down the same route of getting a new set of Callaways or a new set of TaylorMades or a new set of whatever it might be, these, I honestly believe, are your best alternative to play about with over Christmas and then into the next year. They're going to be very much a blade muscle back fitting that kind of player that wants to play about with their game. And to be honest, I think I might find a set for myself for my bag going into 2022. So my fifth pick of this list, and I've gone a bit out there because I imagine there's a few of you that want a name brand. The brand that you see on TV, a brand that you see on tour, a brand that you see your mates with. But what happens when that brand 
become second hand. This brand is extremely popular over the last couple of years with the woods. Second hand prices of the woods through the roof. Irons, not so much. I'm of course talking about Cobra. Rad Speed, Speed Zone. I'll show you some prices now of their irons. Whether it's one length or standard length, whether it's F9, Speed Zone, Rad Speed, they all seem to go around for around 300 pounds. Okay, the Speed Zone's probably around the 400 pounds mark at the moment, but these came out at 799 for a set. They're already down, brand new. You can get it from American Golf or Click Golf or whoever for 599. So we're talking 100 pounds a club, brand new, which means second hand, it's gonna have to be even cheaper than that. And then you take off a few years, or you go to the F9 or the Speed Zone, which is a year old, and it's even cheaper than that. I'll show you some Speed Zone irons that are going for under 300 pounds. And I'm not saying you're gonna find this tomorrow, but I'm just saying keep it on your radar. Because Cobra, when it comes to second hand clubs, especially the irons, they just drop through the roof, 50% off after a year, which means that you can have a nice gleaming set of clubs, which you'll probably get some warranty with because they've literally just been released. They're gonna give you that forgiveness feel. And don't get me wrong, Cobra irons, they're not the players iron, they're not the advanced iron, they're very much the intermediate to beginner set of irons. But if you're thinking, oh, I just want a decent forgiving set of ping, G series or G400s or I want a massive head tailor made or a Callaway epic flash whatever save yourself the money get a big cavity back with good technology Arcos grip decent shafts for half the price off for only a year old we go man. guys let me know how I did my underrated irons for around 300 pounds and 300 pounds is a great mark because it gets all those clubs in that have devalued over the last couple of years. Potentially a year. Gives you the same amount of technology as all the ones that have come out over the next five, and you're not having to spend 150 to 200 pounds a stick to get it. If you like the video, leave a like, subscribe if you're new. Catch you guys there. Morning Tom, hope you're doing well. Afternoon mate, well done on the lesson, and evening Alan, not a problem at all, and. Testing the G30s, and <laughs> Gents, on my way to the lock up. Go, go pick up the mirror on. See, but.